Hello everybody, this is Adam with Success in Fundraising. <clears throat> and uh, I just want to say thank you again for all the business that we've been getting. And uh, we had a wonderful pre-Thanksgiving safety in our deliveries and everything went really smoothly. And so far, all of our pre-Christmas uh, preparations are going smoothly as well. So we're thankful for all of our groups and uh, that we're able to work so well together. So. We are preparing for a lot of deliveries right now, and uh, that, that has to do with uh, organizing the deliveries as well as pre-sorting the orders. So just keep in mind, we, we do pre-sort the orders, and uh, we have, uh, we've been printing a lot of labels and all the paperwork required for that, and we do that work here uh, near our, where we keep the frozen product, near Bozeman. And so if anyone didn't realize, we're in Amsterdam, Montana, which is west of Bozeman, about 20 miles, or south of Manhattan, about 10 miles. And I'm coming coming in from uh, our control center, which happens to be Frank and Doris's basement. So uh, actually just to my left is where I spent much of my childhood, which actually makes this uh, uh, a really fun business to be in because of how close we can stay together. So small family business. We, we are the ones who market the Butter Braid brand pastry dough, Montana, Northern Wyoming, and Western South Dakota. And so we're here to serve you. But this video I wanted to, or I promised some time ago at the beginning of a giveaway that I would tell a little bit of a story about uh, how we got some of the cups we've been given away. They're like a water bottle, I guess. Stainless steel Zippo bottle. Uh, here, I'll show you. So that's it. I can't do it because there we go I'll show you a little more later but uh, some of the backstory on that uh, as you know in one of my previous posts you may know uh, or videos I, I did a video from the Manhattan farmers market and uh, at the market my daughter Caitlin likes to make pies and Matthew likes to create things as to rainbow loom so uh, they make these creations and they sell them at the farmers market and we had met uh, Lucy May Seavey at one of the markets. She was selling some of her fantastic uh, branded merchandise to raise money for a friend, uh, I think a cheerleader at Manhattan Public School, and uh, visited with her for a little while there. And her mother was there as well, Miss Tracy. So it was good to get to know Tracy and Lucy May. And so it, it kind of sparked a curiosity because we were always looking for something to do giveaway other than pastries. And, and I see from our latest giveaway, people still like to to the chance to, to get some free pastries. So thank you for everybody that signed up for our, our giveaways. Uh, we really like to, to share and we really are embracing social media. So please, uh, Please do share if you like us and uh, share with your friends uh, Facebook for the most part, also on Instagram and sort of Pinterest. <laughs> but uh, so we met Tracy and Lucy May and got to visit for a little bit. I thought the so these tumblers are the ones I bought first and I thought they looked really, really cool. I like the design and I like the, the process and I got to learn that it's a permanent vinyl and they they cut them out and stick them on and have a great little business. And uh, initially, I'm always excited to see people, especially young people, who want to be entrepreneurs and get out there and share their creativity and to, uh, to see how they can do. And especially this time of year, I think it's important because a lot of these folks rely on um, holidays because a lot of gifts are given. So don't be afraid to track down some of your local uh, uh, small businesses and entrepreneurs and find out what they have and... And choose those items to share and give and uh, as well as uh, throw a pastry in with each one too <laughs> but uh, so we got to visit with them for a little bit and and uh, plan another meeting to visit further and I ended up buying these box of uh, stainless water bottles because uh, we got them branded uh, initially with a butter braid pastry brand logo and so we were trying to think of ways to uh, to make it a little give it a little more local feel if you know what I mean so and uh, yeah I just think it's it's really neat so got to work with them they they actually and this is what's the really fun part was is they were kind of busy or not busy but uh, eager to help 
as well as they, they ended up cutting out the designs and teaching us how to apply them, which made it more fun because actually Caitlin, who loves doing crafts, uh, and I got to uh, to do that process. And so that was another fantastic thing about working with these folks and and uh, and especially now uh, getting busier with the holidays. But uh, so we've been applying them and giving them away uh, this season. It's a, who knows if we'll have more next year, but I really think the idea is kind of neat. And uh, and I'll post, or I'll, I think I tagged her in the description. So definitely go check out uh, Lucy May, what she does. She does a wide variety of, of uh, cups and mugs and tumblers and all that kind of thing. And uh, lots of creativity. But uh, so by the end, yeah, it worked really well. It wasn't this huge endeavor, but I th it was a step in a different direction for us. And I like to always uh, consider other ways of doing things or something else to just share with people. And so we have these neat cups and we've been giving them away. So we're actually starting to, in the next few weeks, we'll be running a little bit low. And congratulations to our last two winners. And um, we'd really do appreciate uh, everybody jumping on the giveaways and and everyone out there who we can, uh, who we've been working with. And so, so thank you for your work. And here's another look at the, so we had, she cut out the state and has home. She'll do 406. And so the cool thing then is we have uh, three states that we represent. And so we try to be a little bit equal opportunity. So we have them available for Montana, Wyoming, and, and South Dakota. We really thought it uh, raised the bar just a little for what we've been handing out. But, uh, yep, just busy with preparations and, yeah, and really just thankful for, for this opportunity to serve so many groups of people. I was just looking, I think since Frank and Doris started this business in around 2000, in 2004, uh, we have helped people raise over $3 million, uh, in our territory. And, uh. That's actually, it's not us doing all the work. They certainly do most of the work, but we take pride in the aspects that we do participate in, and we try to make it as easy as possible for our groups that we work with. And so we really, we, uh, we really try to take the burden off of um, the groups. And if we can do any of the jobs or, or make things easier, we're, we're always at the end of a phone or an email or uh, even Facebook Messenger now. So uh we enjoy what we do and we're thankful for all of those around us and wishing you a happy december it's uh, it's here and it seems to have come uh seems to have come much too quickly good morning anna christensen thanks for watching um uh, but uh well it was here uh, in the gallatin valley we just got snow this morning so <laughs> so as i guess it's december and it should be winter uh for what we do we always hope for uh moderate weather until uh, about four days before Christmas because we're doing a lot of driving. Uh, but we uh, we also, because we do a lot of driving, we're familiar with how to navigate uh, more difficult roads. So, but uh, just a quick summary. I'll give you one more shot of talking about our the cups we've been giving away. And thanks again to Lucy May CV. Uh, she is Lucy May's Montana Creations. She's out near Bozeman, and you can find her on Facebook. She's tagged in the, or uh, identified in the description. Oh, snow in Great Falls, too. I think there's snow everywhere. A uh, side tidbit is uh, uh, my wife, Kathy, and youngest son, David, are in Malta right now at her parents' house for a funeral, which is sad, but uh, she made it there before the snow hit, and unfortunately, it's not... Uh, we have the time to to make sure there's nav uh, safe roads for the way home. So uh, lots of snow, lots of places, and so we're we're thinking, we're we're going to be ramping up for the next uh, week. Uh, not crazy busy, but we're doing a lot of preparations, which is nice because that's all here. And uh, we'll try to do another video uh, from the freezer again, show you what the sorting and all that is. But uh, thanks everyone for checking in. And this is Adam Cinema, Success in Fundraising, and uh, have a great Saturday.